Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again as I continue with my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. We're on episode 56. I am revitalized, ladies and gentlemen. I slapped the living crap out of myself. That's right, I'm bleeding. I have no teeth left. My nose is broken. No, none of that's true. But I'm actually, I don't know, I'm getting a second win maybe. By the end of this, I might be going, I was pretty much game. Yeah, bye. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're looking pretty decent for what this right now. Additionally, we're going to have you just come over here and chill and be ready to grab up some resources. End the turn. Get it handled. All right. The Weekly Hamster and Berserk Combat Hamster Production Doubles. The Raving Rabbits. Hmm. Well, that seems entertaining. It looks like we're going to have to get a second boat. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of that. But before we do that, we're gonna come down here and deal with this other dude who's clearly a problem. And he is a Cyclops, and a actually two Cyclopses or more, and quite large in problematic problems of a problematude. So we'll have to deal with that once, well, once we get there. All right. Well, why don't we get the Thieves Guild? I've never ever used this before, so we'll figure out what it does now, I guess. Oh, that's what that icon is. Okay, the Thieves' Guild. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at it. Alright, so I've discovered 25% of the map. I have one rare resource. And we can see a little bit about our other folks here. We can pay for more if we want. Uh, two heroes, one town, two heroes, one town, two heroes. Um, and send the spy. Oh, it's going to take them time. Oh, this is a pretty cool feature. Okay, I mean, that's going to be more useful, I'd say, like, maybe a multiplayer or, like, a skirmish map, but I, that's cool. I'll play around with it a little bit here and see what that's all about. I have no qualms about that. All right, we need to get some more trading going on. This is a little redonkadonk right now. A little we're actually getting, but that's okay. Oh, no, we can't trade. What did I just trade? Oh, I, I never mind. I, I did it right, but I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Yay! Maybe I'm not as awake as I thought I was. I'm a little nervous now. I'm like, wait a minute. What just happened? What the heck? Emerald Dragon. We will purchase you. Maybe. Oh, I can't because I don't have all the cash. Maybe I pay Maybe I got it with money. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Not really concerned with it right now. Okay. Additionally, you're going to go here. And we still don't have enough money for it. But that's okay. You come down here and you're probably going to gather up the troops yourself this time around. And bring them on over out onto the ocean. And you'll be like, What's up, Wisloth? I'm out on the sea too. I didn't tell you you could leave. Get back to your hole. What's her name? Salen. Her name is Salen. Wow. Okay. That's going to be kind of difficult to tell her to get back to her, her hole when her name is actually the art of being out on the ocean by wind power. I mean, it's it's a bit it's a bit rough to tell her to leave the seafaring stuff to me when she's named Sailing. I mean, really? Okay, there's nothing else to build, right? Except for the upgrades? Yeah, okay. No, oh, sorry. The defensive towers. Okay, so I did miss one of the things. That's okay. That is alright. We will snag... Oh, I can't move it. That's fine. Recruit all! Yeah, that's not really super impressive. It's okay, though. We're gonna end the turn. It's gonna be... Fine-ish, maybe. Might be okay. And we're here! That's right, we have shown up to get more recruit all. It's never gonna ever work. It's gonna be weird. Alright, quick combat. Let's see what it does to us. Yep, we're gonna be playing that one manually. That's for darn certain. Let's prepare ourselves for the ultimate combat. Alright, I don't know how far the ogres can move. So, going, go. I'm not worried about that. Sorry, by ogres I mean cyclops. Or cyclopses. Please don't tell me that this dude's like a laser beam cyclops, is he? I think that he is. Oh yeah, he's an angry, enraged cyclops. So what do we do with an angry, enraged cyclopses? We do that. Right there. Lead by example. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Alright, well... Guaranteed kill on you. Bloop! Down you go. Small baby kill on you. So what we're going to do is start stacking up some damage onto this guy. 
Bloop. That's all we get. That's fine. And we are going to annihilate all of you. Even if we do minimum damage, we're going to kill them the second time, so it doesn't really matter. And it looks like with high luck, we'll get at least... Ooh, we didn't even get one kill. I'm a little bit impressed by that. Now, if that was a full attack, it would have been different. Alright, let's see what you got, ogres. And by ogres, I, I don't mean ogres. I mean other things. What do you mean other things? I mean, whatever they are. Cyclops, come on. You guys know what they are. Don't you start and pretend like you don't know. Don't act like you don't know. Alright. I'll be able to get a bit closer here. Alright, gonna throw out this. Going to move here and kill off three of you. Wow. We do so much damage, it's ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. I'm a little concerned. You know what? I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm going for broke. Wow, we do so much damage, it's ridiculous. We just killed him outright. I wasn't expecting that. But again, trading out the two blue dough for this definitely worth it. Alright, so no losses at all there. Not even really a challenge. Hey! Complete pirate stronghold. Nice. So we got 2,500 gold and a pirate crossbow. What does the pirate crossbow do, you might ask? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out soon. Alright, we're going to come down here and get expert, I guess. And then we're going to go check and see what the pirate, cro pirate crossbow does. Plus one to the base damage of friendly ranged creatures. I can live with that. That is not a sad thing for me at all. We can go here. We can... I thought we could tag that up, but that's apparently not a building. And I guess we're, we're done moving here. And it looks like we're going to have to go all the way around, maybe? Well, I'm okay with that, I, I suppose. And we don't have much more gold just yet. We're going to end the turn. We got Wisloth to move. And we shall get her to once again try and get a few more troops. Let's see here. Recruit all of you. Recruit all of you. That's good. That's good enough. I like it. Let's make it set. Make it happen. Let's make it so. Let's make it sappin cappin. I don't I don't know where that was going, but it's fine. Leave. What is your mission? I think we had to get the artifact or the relic from their uh, little deal, so we're not quite ready for that just yet. We're getting close. All right, we'll end our turn. She says she's ready to build this and take to the seas. Additionally, we're going to have to come over here. So it'll take us a little bit of time before we get there, and I suppose we could probably stop off over here and grab this along the way. We'll end the turn, grab that. It's going to be freebie, wonderful, wonderful gold, and we can do quick combat for this, because there's no way they can possibly do any damage to us. It's good to see that indeed that was the case. That is a trivial army that could probably still hurt us quite badly. Alright, and you are going to continue your little pattern on into the fray. And we're going to end our turn once again. I'm going to crack a knuckle or two here, guys. And we're taking a look. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we can path through there? That's okay, I wish I knew that. Well, I do now, I suppose. That's something. Alright, we can grab this. Thousand gold. An underground passage. Interesting. I don't really want any of this other stuff. Alright, maybe later. Maybe we'll come back to this eventually. We'll end the turn. It's the week of the gopher. Nope. Week of storm. Creatures cannot perform range attacks. Oh, God, that's so bad. Why would you do that to me? We are a ranged heavy lineup. That's what we do. We range, so not being able to range means that we're not as useful as you might think. I know, it is pretty shocking. Prepare to be shocked. Alright, what are we looking at? Oh, we got new info. That's right, we sent our spy. Oh, and it costs us more every time we want to send a spy. Okay, that's interesting. Well, we're really, really outpacing her, so that's good.
They're not actually gaining in strength at all. We need 10 and we need 5 and 5. Alright, we can wait this out. We'll build up the defensive structures too because we can and because we want to. And we'll set back our other guy a little bit further because it uses the same stuff that he was needing. Alright, we're going to wait until they're all done. And now we're going to get Whistloth over here to prepare to handle business, I guess. What is that going to do? Looks like a lot of nothing. Alright, well, we're going to end the turn one more time. Try to have her do something there. Have him do this. And then maybe he can make it all the way over here. Now, will it stay down for three turns? Or two turns, or whatever it is. I think it will. It's looking like it might. Alright, the Stolen Heirloom quest has been updated. Alright. Optional, bring back the Dragon Heart to the Sword Masters. Alright, so the Dragon Heart must be this. Eh, I'll bring it back to him. I'm totally fine with that. Alright, we're going to wait just to make sure she doesn't have to do anything extra. And we're going to have to do some trading once again. Alright, we're going to trade and trade. And then we're going to go down here and be all like, What's up? We have Sundia now. Mutaha. It's going to be nice. And super duper fun. Alright, we're going to end our turn. And it looks like the thing stayed open, which is excellent. Which also means that she can return to town now. Hold on. She's not ready to go back to town just yet. There's still one final thing she must take care of. Before she is able to depart for all of eternity. And that one thing as well, clean up on aisle one, two, three, and four. Lots of gold and various things. The scroll bears the seal of the great pirate king, Captain Rama. The waters of the Strait of Malsini are truly treacherous. See, straight. I said channel. Straight, I guess straight's a little bit better. Know that sailing through the western whirlpool and then back the way you came will take you to Shadris. Sailing through the eastern whirlpool and going back the way you came will take you to Sorleth. I've hidden a small treasure west of Shadris, if you're brave enough to try and claim it. Well, that sounds interesting, if nothing else. And we actually got a decent amount of gold there. Alright, so the play now is going to be to land over here with both of our folks. I will take that treasure loot, thank you. Alright, we still have a long way to go before we have everything in line here. So let's do a little bit more trading. Okay, now that that's done, we'll come back to Wisloth, and we will not do that. We'll do this. That salon is bounty going up on to the stone mine. And we can end our turn. And it's looking pretty good right now, guys. Let's get on a little deeper. And the race back to base has begun. Very slowly, by the way. Very, very slowly. Ha! First to landfall. I'll rob behind you, Ethel! Alright, I guess we end the turn one more time. It's going to be a new week. Week of giant slaying. Small creatures get plus five attack when attacking large creatures. Bonus! Alright, let's go and meet up with you. Feel like, yeah, give me your emerald dragons. Thank you. And I'll take those. And these. Hello. And I'll snag that as well. Alright, now let's talk to you. The swords master. The sword masters, thank you for bringing them the stolen heirloom. As promised, they put their mighty blades at your service. No, don't do it. 3,000 stolen heirlooms. Wait, what? Oh, they're still sitting there. Okay. You, join me. There's only four of them? Except, that doesn't seem like that was really worth it. But hey, you know what? She's got an army now, and that's a little weird, but it's okay. Alright, we'll snag up the gold there, and then we will actually head her down this way. Meanwhile, Wisloth gets to move his way up to the town. 
to gather up all the remaining troops that are humanly possible or elvishly possible to gather. Additionally, we're going to come here and we are going to trade once again. Trade, trade. It's there. It's close. It's almost right there. Just a little bit away and bam, it is now there. We have a lot of cash money sitting around. And our town is fully outfitted short of the tier of Asha, which now well, there's a pretty good chance we won't find. The turn has ended. Victory will soon be ours. And I'm liking it. So now all we have to do is figure out what to do to get around and get to the different elvish places. But that looks like that will be a tale for another time because by the time we get everybody upgraded, everybody into position, all of our folks where they need to be, we'll probably be out of time by the, before we actually make it anywhere. So I'm leaning toward that probably being a thing. Well, we're short one of those, huh? Well, okay, we can probably make this work. We will sell that and get one of those and be able to go back here and trade out and get our Emerald Dragoon. And unfortunately, we can't get a second one. That's weird. All right, well, we'll get ourselves some Sun Deer. And a few more of these individuals. So, looking pretty strong right now, guys. That doesn't mean we can't run into some sort of horrible enemy that just crushes our soul and makes us weep openly. But, the chance of that happening is actually much, much less than it once was. So, be mindful of that. All right, we shall end our turn and we shall continue onward. We shall visit the Blind Maiden. I you know I also kind of want to go down this way. Let's go take this on. I'm ready. I'm eager. Let's do it. Let's make it a thing. All right, let's get the rest of you. Let's get some more of you. And that's pretty good. We're going to utilize a spell. Get our instant reinforcements. There they are, and there they are again. Why are you two this way? Swap. There we go. Okay. Meanwhile, you, you get to come over here. Go sailing, get your stuff, and down back to town. Gonna end the turn, and we're gonna do battle with these dragons, I guess, in the next turn. And I'm hoping that we survive it, I'm not sure. It says it's a trivial fight, we'll actually have to wait and see. There's no guarantee one way or the other. Alright, let's end the turn and go and do dragon battle. Alright, there are several of these. Hmm. Should be fun. Let's uh, let's see what quick combat gets us. A lot of dead people. So try playing it manually and hope that it plays out better, but there's no guarantee. I imagine they probably have pretty high mobility. That would be my best guess, and well, we're going to see what we can do to make it happen. Alright, apparently, despite their quote-unquote high mobility, it looks like we're still going to be leading them. We're going to try out our slowing down with the blizzard skill. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait again. One more time. Then we're going to try to kill you off with one shot, but we can actually kill most of them off. So why don't we do that instead? Blam. Pretty decent damage there. I'm gonna wait again, see if we can't get some of the dragoons to come a bit closer. They're a little bit shy, they got close, but not close enough to really cause us any harm or problems. Alright, the ballista's gonna go and take a random shot. It's gonna do next to nothing, as I'm sure you guys can figure out. Alright, we're gonna do the flaming dragon breath attack with high luck, which is gonna get us at least one kill. And a half a kill, I guess, on another one. And I guess we're just going to fire out on you and not really do that much. This makes me a little bit sad, but... Yeah, we got some damage done there. That's cool. Alright, we're going to defend against you. We're going to... Attack you with the wonderful, wonderful sprites. You're going to do a tremendous amount of work. We're going to be able to drop this guy right here with our... Sun Deer of Death. And then, I don't know, I guess you come down here with your dual swords of death, and maybe you can cut this guy to pieces in the backside? Nope. Well, that's a tad unfortunate. How about now? Maybe. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna hope. Oh, wow, that was way lower than it should have been. However, we were not retaliated upon, so now we can come charge forward, and bam! He's still standing strong. Apparently this is a week of no retaliatory striking, and I'm okay with that. 
And victory is ours, ladies and gentlemen. Not quite enough to level up, but we had no losses. Much opposed to the wonderful thought that the quick combat came up with. That wasn't great. Right, I don't really feel like going underground just yet. But hopefully we can get over here, maybe clear out this area and the gate. And then from there, we'll probably break off the episode. Seems like an okay idea. Snag up all this, quick combat here. We shouldn't even need to... Yeah, that's going to be fine. Alright, we'll grab that, we'll grab that. Is that it? That's it. And then we're going to come over here and do battle with you. Quick combat should be easy, breezy, beautiful. It really was. And the garrison's also going to be pretty pathetic. Quick combat. I, 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 don't, I don't care. It's a little silly, a little stupid if you ask me, but that's totally fine. We're going to come over here. We're going to quick combat this, but chances are I'll need to fight this one. Or no, I'm okay with that. You can lose him too. Alright, let's grab up some gold. Let's grab up some more gold. And let's grab up the ranger's boots. Yeah, what does that give me? Let's see here. H. It gives me, well, the ranger's boots for one. We have a helmet there. I like the helmet we have better. Alright, this gives us plus two maximum movement and plus five initiative to range friendly creatures. I can live with that. That seems pretty legit to me. Okay, so there's another thing that we have to burn down over there. So we'll start moving that way. We're going to end the turn. We're going to end out the week, and then that's going to do it. So, let's see here. We're going to get um, Earth Knowledge 2. We're learning that up. And then we're going to go down the defense tree, I think, is how I want to do this. We'll see. All right, going to snag up that. I want the gold. Should want to kill you, too. Let's do quick combat. Should be pretty easy. No, there is no way we're losing 45 of our... Sprites, that's just silly. That's foolishness. That's madness. Alright, we're ready. You don't even have antlers. What are you going to do? Hit us with your forehead? Are you going to headbutt us to death? I mean, it's a pretty effective form of attacking, but not for you guys. Definitely not for you guys. Alright, let's kill you. Alright, next up, you're going to charge forward. It's going to be just short, and then we're going to annihilate you with our double attack. Singular, double, not quite enough. But we're not done yet. Why? We get to finally see our dragons in action here. Well, we saw them in action before, but we get to see them again. Blah! And that's it, just the auto attack. A little less fancy, a little less showy, but easy. I mean, there's no way we lost 50 something. That's just stupid. Alright, there is a shiny little gem over here. It's going to give us one spirit. That's more mana overall for us. And with that, folks, I am ready to end this particular week and this particular episode. Hopefully you had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys tomorrow with more. That's right, more Might and Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>